Hi, um, these are the, the other two books that I read when I was on holiday. I, I did say that I would give a, a longer um, review of them, a longer sort of cogitation about them. Um, this one, The Club of True Creators by Milan Tripkovic. This was sent to me by um, Rossum Press. Um, and Rossum Press, they are translating, using AI to translate um, works that are not normally translated. Um, this is Serbian. And I wasn't sure what to expect of it, not at all. It, it said it's a novel that's shortlisted for the NIN Award. This was in 2022. And it's described as a metatextual journey of suspense, humour and even romance. I was pleasantly surprised. I wasn't sure what to expect. And I went into it with an open mind. The style, the style surprised me. Um, it's almost as though you could almost see it as a cinema production um, with different scenes, cutting where the director's cutting to this scene and then that scene. And it's almost as though we've got directors in here, sort of like people leading us because, you know, they will say, let me just take a um, Oh, you know, they'll say, right, um, we'll leave that part, returning to Nove Sad. Um, you know, um, we'll go, we'll leave those. And uh, we weren't too scared of a fight to find out what happened next, but other events demand our attention. So, you know, they, it, these directors, these people telling us are telling us where to stay each chapter they are directing us to each chapter does that make sense um drama comedy romance adventure it's it seems to have a little bit of everything uh we start off we've got natasha and she runs over this guy who happens to be a war criminal and so she's arrested, she's taken into police custody and she runs off and the inspector runs off with her. He takes her away for her safety, for her protection. Um, you've also got sort of secret service guys who were watching the war criminal and so they want to know where Natasha is. But Natasha is on the run with this police guy. You also got um, Vojislav, who is a member of the True Creators Club. These are literary people who are believe that their works is challenging the status quo. And he thinks that because he was standing with this war criminal at the time they were walking together, he thinks that he was Natasha's intended victim. It, he thinks, you know, he's, well, she was after me because I write all this subversive stuff. And so he calls his club of true creators together and they want to know where Natasha is as well. So... It's, I, I enjoyed it. We end up in a monastery. We end up, there's romance there. There's a bit of adventure. And it was, it wasn't, I didn't know what I was expecting. Um, but because we are taken from scene to scene to scene, it's, it was a light, refreshing read. I, I, I enjoyed it probably more than I thought I was going to. Um, and it's just under 200 pages, uh, is it just 192 pages. So it was a very quick holiday read as well. And um, yeah, 
the the pronunciations I can't, i'm not even trying to do the pronunciations i'm not because i always get them totally wrong but yeah so that was um i enjoyed it the second the final one i read on holiday well i didn't read it i listened to it it was sunburn i listened to it on audible sunburn by chloe michelle howarth and this i picked it up because it was on the cafe nero debut fiction shortlist um and I, you know I, I pick things up off shortlists and they're usually books that i wouldn't normally pick up and i enjoy this one more than i thought i would as well we're in rural ireland in the 1990s and lucy is in her 20s and she's telling us about her life and her relationships and her friendships she lives in a small rural town where everybody knows everyone else and the expectation is that lucy will marry martin she's known martin for years the two families know each other the kids have been friends they've grown up together and they are always together and everybody expects that they're going to marry in school as a teenager Lucy finds that she's growing away from her little friendship group of girls because she finds that she's not interested in the chat about the boys and who fancies who and who looks good and who doesn't look good. She's not interested in that because she's becoming obsessed with Susanna. Even down to she watches how she eats she focuses on the way her teeth meet and her tongue she she focuses she is obsessed with this girl and of course they relate they eventually they get become friends they become close friends they become closer friends they form a relationship but it's a relationship that has to be kept in secret because of where they live. Um, although Susanna would is more is a lot more open. She would love to announce her feelings for Lucy. Lucy will not. Because she is her mother's daughter. She does not want to lose her relationship with her mother. And she knows that as soon as her mother becomes aware of her relationship with Susanna, that'll be it. This this relationship that she's got with her mother will be over and it will never, never return. And so what she does is she moves her relationship with Martin up a level. So it looks as though they are boyfriend, girlfriend to keep her mother happy. But this doesn't keep Susanna happy. And Martin is oblivious to everything. And I feel so sorry for him. And he is my favourite character. I really like Martin because of his loyalty and his love for Lucy. That she does reciprocate in one way but not another. Um, do we agree with everything that is going on? I can see because Lucy comes from this very small town where everybody knows everybody else's business. I can see why she wants to keep her relationship with Susanna so um, secret because she's young, she's vulnerable. Um, I enjoyed watching Lucy grow up. I, I enjoy this and a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, I only read two on the Cafe Nero Book Awards for the debut section. And um, I read Close to Home by Michael McGee, and I preferred this one to that one. But as it has happens, um, Closer to Home has, has won the section category. So, so um, those, I think I've caught up net with, those are the, all of the four books that I read while I was away for a week. So four books in a week, it's not bad, is it? So I, I've now got other books on the go, and I'll come back to you when I've finished those. So happy reading. Take care. Bye.